Uh, the Zerglings are going to finish taking out those Stalkers, and once you have 19 Mutas and your opponent's army is pretty much dead, you're sitting pretty. Tila's got expansions all over the map. Mao's mana is getting really slim here in his main, almost completely gone. His natural is uh, still looking about maybe halfway there, or not quite, and uh, this third base here is looking okay, but TLO is just still pressing his advantage. 160 supply to 108, so 60 supply ahead. That is humongous, especially when the Zerg has this many things. He's TLO is going to be maxed out in no time if he chooses to be. Uh, TLO does have this huge group of mutas here. Um, 1-0 upgrades, and uh, he's probably feeling in a very commanding position right now. He's might even throw down some more expansions up here, just because he's got nothing to lose. Doing huge drone transfers to these locations. Already has extractors up all over the map as well. And uh, Mouse Mana trying to get something going. He's getting another Claws out, getting some more warp gates down. Tilo going to Broodlords though, and this is just going to be really difficult. Unless he can have a decent uh, Colossi amount, which really is going to be hard for him to keep pushing out. I mean, he does have one, a second one coming here. His gas, though, is pretty low. He's probably going to get a third Colossi before he tries to push out, but the longer he waits, the more commanding position TLO is going to be, and TLO is maxed out at this point, and 60 supply ahead. That is going to be huge. Three Brewlords are going to come in. They have huge range. They're just going to just kind of poke around and throw some things down. I don't think TLO is going to try to attack right into this, or if he does, he's going to scoot back very quickly. Yeah, those Brewlords can just kind of shoot there all day long, and um, eventually they're going to kill off that forge just a matter of time, even if those things are killed pretty much instantly. Mal's mana deciding he needs to do something, not just let his buildings all go down. And this could be a very interesting attack here. Guardian Shield going down, but TLO just has such a huge army. Those Zealots are doing a very good job against those Zerglings, and the Colossi melting them away, but there's a lot of mutas here, and TLO is just going to come up and target the Colossi down. They're going to go down very quickly. Um, one almost finished. The second one is going to probably be dropped before these mutas go down. TLO is pumped out a bunch of corruptors there, and Mouse Mana kind of slipping on his macro here. He's focusing a lot on that micro, and his macro just has nothing building still. It's been almost 20 seconds since he's done anything. He's up at 2,000 minerals now, 500 gas. Now finally warps in four stalkers, but it might be too little too late here can't afford to have slip-ups like that this late in the game, especially when you're playing against a tier player like TLO that just is expanding all over you. And TLO is going to take this game. There's, It's going to be really difficult for Miles Mana to force any sort of comeback. <laughs> TLO just throwing mass circlings into the base here. And there's the GG for Miles Mana. TLO does take out the third game, which has got to feel great for him. You never want to go 0-3 in a series like this. Um, thank you guys for watching. Uh, hopefully going to keep more replays. Uh, coming to you guys. I need to get a little banner thing over here so I can be cool like everyone else and block the timer, but it's not such a huge deal because they have this this toggle deal now that can hide how much time's left in the game so it's not spoiled for you. Um, thanks everyone for watching. I'm sorry I was so tired. I was babbling all over myself, but it was a great time. Some great games. I always love watching TLO and Mouse Mana. He is a very entertaining Protoss player. That fast expand into Stargate is a really fun build to watch. I wish he would have been a little more aggressive with it and um, gone after the Queens really early. Um, but uh, that's just a, a pipe dream of mine, I guess. Perhaps he'll, he's still practicing this build. Um, so congratulations to Miles Mana for taking out that series. Uh, once again, thanks everyone for watching. I hope you guys come back and visit. I hope I'm entertaining. If you think there's anything I can do better or anything like that, please let me know. I'm i um, very good at taking constructive criticism. I know I suck at this completely, but it's, uh, it's a good time. So once again, thanks. Hope you guys have a great day and or night, wherever the heck you are. And uh, take it easy. We'll see you next time.